Well, now a special finale to our Throwback Thursday Husker series. And we finish with a coach who connected with three decades of players, worked under three head coaches, and earned three national titles. And Milt Teneper will forever hold a place in so many hearts, as KATV News Watch 7's Brandy Peterson reports. He led this year's Tunnel Walk tribute to the 94 Huskers. And on his lap, Coach Milt Teneper held their national championship trophy. It was heavy. No. No, it was, it was a thrill to me just to be with those kids, you know, and, and the fact that so many of them showed up. Those kids? Nebraska legends. Rob Zadishka, Brendan Steyer, Aaron Graham, uh, Joel Wilkes, uh, Zach Wigger. The original pipeline. Tenniper was their offensive line coach, part of three national championship teams. But his favorite game, Kansas State. When Tommy's out. Brooke Beringer is still coming off of the collapsed lung situation. Tenniper's players went head to head with the K State defense, protecting their quarterback 22 times. Nebraska won 17 to 6. It was linemen that took it upon themselves. That they were going to win the ball game, and that, and, and that was one game that I will never forget simply because we didn't need a big play. We didn't need anything fancy to win the ball game. We could have talked football all day, 29 years of Nebraska memories before health reasons forced Tenniper to retire in 2003. Last May, he was diagnosed with leukemia, cancer now in remission. So we're going to keep fighting it, thanks to my wife. It's, been an awful, awful lot of miles to Omaha. The car almost drives by itself. Even though he goes by Papa now, enjoying time with his 10 grandkids, he'll always be coach here at Memorial Stadium. Good to see, Good to see you. you. You got a red end on your hat, and that means something. It means you don't ever give up. It means you try to be a perfectionist in everything that you do. That's his legacy on the field. Practice, precision, repetition until every play became second nature. 1995, as an example, the offensive line had zero, zero penalties. Off the field, Tenniper didn't demand respect. He earned it. Favorite player can't tell you that. I've had some doggone many. There is not a kid that I coached that I didn't fall in love with. Not many of them have come in, coming through that door today that uh, we wouldn't hug, maybe shed a tear, uh, because there was just a bond set up there. Brandy Peterson, KETV News Watch 7. Well, good luck, Coach. We have posted more of the interview, including his advice for the current team. It's online at KETV.com.